Storm Ophelia is battering North Carolina here in the Triangle. We've seen off and on showers as bands of rain move through. Breaking news, one out on the roads, tracking conditions now, but the worst of the storm felt along the coast. You're looking live at the pier on North Topsail Beach. Rough surf there and potential flooding along with the wind that's shaking the camera there. Major concerns. Tom George, live in Wrightsville Beach with an update now. You lost the hood, but it's still looking a little rough out there in the ocean, Tom. Yeah, the good news is the rain has stopped. It's starting to clear up, and uh, but the wind still pretty gusty right now, although not as bad as before. But other than that, some signs that uh, Wrightsville Beach getting back to normal. I, I was hoping uh, someone would catch a wave while we were on camera. We actually uh, saw this surfer out there, just managed to catch one, but uh, we saw a lot of people, I would say dozens uh, this morning. Uh, the Dawn Patrol out in full, there we go. All right, if we could pan over to the right a little bit, maybe we can uh, see him, but. Somebody just, uh, yeah, yeah, he's still going right there. So people are out catching waves. Uh, we talked with some of the surfers a little bit earlier. A lot of them uh, thought it was a little bit too dangerous yesterday, but once they sussed everything out uh, for today, they decided to give it a go. Waves look pretty clean. Uh, they don't look that big. Um, I don't know. Uh, and then, you know, kind of check conditions as I go out, make sure I feel all right with it. And if everything feels cool, then I'll keep going and try and catch some waves. Yeah, and uh, another wave uh, caught just right now. So uh, yesterday they were really choppy. They were breaking way too close to shore. You don't want that rip current. That can be really dangerous. Uh, and they were also fairly large, about four to six foot. These ones, a lot smaller waves, but a lot more consistent. Uh, so we're definitely seeing a lot more people uh, out and about. As for the system itself, it seems to have moved on out to the north. So things starting to clear up here. Again, the rain has stopped, but still a little bit gusty out here in Wrightsville Beach as people start to uh, check, check things out again and get back to normal out here, Anthony. All right, Tom George and the servers who always come out when weather's like this in Wrightsville Beach. Thank you very much. We're also tracking the impacts of this storm, including the power outages. Right now, we understand thousands of Duke Energy customers without power. Joining us now to talk about it is Jeff Brooks from Duke Power. Jeff, about 25,000 customers now with no juice. Is that in line with what you expected? Yeah, that's about right, Anthony. We, we knew we were going to see scattered outages across the region. We're seeing pockets from everywhere along the coast uh, as far over as the triad. And that's consistent with where those bands as they swing through that, that rain and then the gusts are going to bring down trees and limbs and nothing that's super concentrated uh, in the triangle about six seven thousand customers out uh, a large number of those are, are one outage over in guest road area of durham but i think throughout the day you're going to see these little pockets continue to pop up as the winds come through and until we get those conditions clear there's always that potential for more outages and as we see the wind you just mentioned, plus the rain today, what are your biggest areas of concern? Well, it, you know, we are seeing a lot of rain with this storm. And, and when you have that slow moving storm with several inches of rain, coupled with a gust that gets to 30, 40 miles per hour, that's enough to bring down a tree or to, to, to bring down limbs. And, and that's what we've seen in most of the areas where we've experienced outages. Uh, but, you know, also if, if the roads are wet and treacherous and people are out driving, we sometimes encounter that with cars hitting poles or things like that. So we want to make sure that, that we keep people safe, but also let our crews get out and do the work they need to do to get your power restored today. And finally, Jeff, what can people do if they no longer have power? Well, the easiest thing to do first is just report that outage. You can text the word out to uh, 57801. And that's uh, or you can use the Duke Energy app. And we do ask people to reach out and tell us about their outages because that helps us to communicate with them and give them updates. And then if you do see a down power line today, please always stay away from it and assume that it has power on it. Let our crews get out there and do the repair. But you want to keep your family and your pets away from that, because even if it doesn't seem like it has power, that's not a risk you want to take. And we want to keep you safe while we're getting everybody's power back up. All right, life-saving advice from Duke Jeff. Sorry, Jeff, I'm getting tongue-tied. Jeff Brooks from that's Duke okay. Energy. Thank you very much for joining us. Thanks, Andrew. Too much coffee here. Now let's go to Monique John, keeping us updated on conditions in Raleigh. Monique is live at Crabtree Creek now, and we know that it floods there on stormy days. How high is the water in the creek now, Monique? Morning, Anthony. So out here, it's pretty mild. I mean, you can see these poles here behind me. These poles are water mar markers of past major weather events to really gauge just how bad flooding has been here over the years. But as you can see today, it's pretty mild. The water level is looking fairly moderate, fairly typical over here. So thankfully, the um, 
the effects out here aren't too extreme right now. Uh, again, this is uh, from Tropical Storm Alberto. This one over here, the yellow and blue, is from Hurricane Floyd. So pretty mild today. It is uh, raining right now, so finally the rain did start coming down. But it seems like we're getting a little bit of a break with the wind as, as it's not as strong. It's not as gusty as it was earlier this morning when we were out there over by Fayetteville Street. And it looks like uh, people really are taking heed to the conditions. We've only seen a handful of folks out on the street this morning, maybe one person walking their dog, another father and son just running past a little bit uh, past, uh, past here just a little while ago. Um, but that's pretty wise because we have seen a couple tra uh, down trees in the area. Earlier today, we were by Millbrook Road where we caught one that had been cleared from the road where it was blocking one lane and Raleigh police say that they are getting a couple reports of down trees in the city that they're checking out right now. So we're still assessing the damage. It seems though right now like it's it's fairly mild. But just in the meantime, do what you got to do to protect yourself. You know, like we said earlier, uh, block your, your doors and windows, uh, stay out of the conditions, stay somewhere where you're safe and warm is because no one needs to be out here in the rain <laughs> unless you're out here covering the rain, right? So um, we'll, we'll keep monitoring the conditions, Anthony. And we appreciate your being out there in the rain, monitoring conditions. Wendy we'll John in Raleigh. <laughs> 908, stay with Eyewitness News as we continue to track the impact of Ophelia. Our